This is Randy Thompson coming to you live with Trudy Adams and Miss Annie. We're in our warm-up trot. Trudy's getting ready to go to her first dressage show with Annie this next weekend where they'll be competing in training level. So in our warm-up trot, one of the things that Trudy asked as soon as she got on was what she could do to get better transitions. So we're going to do something we haven't done before. We're starting the transitions, trying to keep Annie connected in the trot walk transitions in the warm-up which is new and Annie is not thrilled with this good all right so first we're going to isolate what you're doing with your half halts so with the half halt what you're going to do is you're going to slow down the trot go into a sitting trot and see if you can get her to round up for three seconds supple her that's all right That's all right, that's all right, because we've never asked her to do this in a warm-up before. Good, Trudy. Take your time. Now just slow down the steps, just slower, supple her. That's right, half halt with your body, sitting trot. Slow her down for three steps, then let her go forward. And you're just focusing on your position first. Slow her down for three steps, sitting trot. Get her to pick up her back. Good. Then, set, then go back to your rising trot. Post slower. Good. Supple. That's it. And again, I'm sorry I started going suppling and we're not working on her yet. We're still working on your half halt. Now remember with your half halt, you breathe in, feel it go into your stomach, lift up the front of your chest, feel that movement go to where the back of your shoulder blades come together and your hips come through your elbows. If you're doing the sitting trot, post slower. Post slower. That's it. Yep, well, she may not be able to go forward at first simply because we're warming her up on a connection that she's not used to feeling. We don't usually ask her to stay connected in the warm up, so she's really not sure what you want right now, which is okay because she's got a lot of suspension. Feel the suspension? Okay, half halt, three steps. Sit the trot, get her to pick up her back, and stretch into your rein, and then let her go again. Take a deep breath, and let it out as she goes forward. Good. Another half halt. I should see her change her balance when you do it, because your goal was to work on your transitions. There you go. Praise her a lot. And then send her forward. Check that your riding position is coming through your lower leg. Remember, the half halt has to be grounded through your lower leg. Half halt, rebalance her, three seconds, thousand one, thousand two, thousand three, send her forward. Yep, readjust your balance. All right, now we're going to start adding the step to connection for her because you're isolated what you're doing with your riding position. All right, so now steps to connection. Is she soft on the left side of her mouth? Say, Annie, listen to my inside rain and leg. Good. And then go to the outside. Annie, listen to my outside rein and leg. Good. That's it. Now you can do the two steps or three steps, whichever you want to do, whichever she will let you do, I should say. So connect her with two steps on the inside and then two steps to the outside. Just keep switching. You can do three steps if she can hold that. Praise her. Good. So the two steps is where Trudy's asking Annie to step up from her leg into a, a ring connection. So she'll do two steps on one side starting and then two steps on the other side and slowly build up. And I found this is a great way to keep riders so they don't lock up in their hands and to... Uh, let a horse know that they don't have to stay connected that long because it's it's new to Annie to stay connected like this. This is her eighth time, I believe, we've asked her to stay connected. Good. How's she feeling? I should listen better. Good. Add more of your inside leg now because we're getting ready to start transitions. So remember, you're going to use your inside rein and leg at the same time as her inside hind foot is off the ground, which would be now, now. Now, 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 now. That's right. And at first, we're just going to lengthen and shorten her trots, all right? Okay, now when she lengthens or shortens, she has to keep her back up. 
You'll find when she lengthens, she likes to throw her neck out and flatten her back. That's where she should be at the level she's at, but now we're asking her to stay more connected. So when you ask her to lengthen the next time, you're gonna ask for longer steps from her back feet. Okay, lengthen, half halt, and lengthen. Push her up under your seat. Get her under your seat more, 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 more. Tap her up, tap her up, praise her. Yep, tap and praise. Tap and praise, more, more. Good, good, good. Come across the short diagonal. Whenever you come across a short diagonal, you're going to turn the opposite way so she doesn't start anticipating it. Now remember, you're gonna get down there. Good, change directions. That's it. Now the next time you do it, prepare for it more because that's like a mini transition, right? Good, how's she feeling? That, that's right, and then you'll feel there's where your rein's getting a little too long, and that's from you not keeping her up into your rein as much as she could. And it's like a, you never know where it's gonna be at first because this is new for her, right? So is she, yep, keep her alive on the reins. Feel her drop the rein. As soon as that rein gets dropped, it's really your leg asking her to step up into it. Good, get her to step up into it more. Good, every time you go across a short diagonal, that's right, you change directions. She's carrying you different, do you feel it? That's right, she, well, she won't expect it because she's used to going across the diagonal and just flying around, right? right. So now what we're doing is we're saying, well, we know you think you know what you're doing, but when we come across the short diagonal, what we're really gonna do is change directions and go the way she doesn't expect. And try to keep her in balance as you do it. Good. Collected, think collected trot there. Slow down every corner, then lengthen. Slow down and lengthen. So you're gonna slow for three steps and lengthen for three steps. It's like the rubber band exercise. Good. Same thing here. Lengthen three steps, shorten three steps. So now you want to shorten more before you change directions. Good. Shorten. Get her, get her back up more. More energy. More. Yep, get her back up more. Good, good. Now lengthen until you feel her drop. As soon as she drops, you're going to do the half halt to your breath. You know, feel the breath coming in. Lift your chest up. Feel your seat going forward. And then make sure she's doing the steps to connection by softening her jaw. Softening her pole, releasing her neck, and picking up her back as she steps into the rain. How's that feeling? Good. Now we're going to add the walk to this. So what you're going to do is you're going to slow down the steps to the trot until she walks. Try to keep her connected with a half halt. So really think. It's all about keeping her on the steps of connection and the half halt. How did that feel? Good, good. Keep the walk up, more activity. Pick up her pole a little bit. You're gonna get ready to go into a trot. Feel like her back legs trot first. Pick up her pole. Bring her shoulder in just a little bit by thinking of starting a corner. Just think of it. Just point the front of the saddle in about two inches. That's all you need. Yep, it's not the next day straight. You're just gonna bring in the front shoulder about two inches. Good. That's it. That was like a maybe, but that was close. Good. Get her more connected. Get her to pick up. She steps to connection. Half halt. Breathe in. Get her to pick up her back. Make sure she's supple. Praise her. And then right away, go back to six steps short, six steps long, six steps short, back into a walk. Good. Supple, supple, supple. That's the steps of connection. Half halt. And then you supple her. Make sure she's loose on the rein and from your leg with her back up. Good. When you're ready, prepare for a walk from your slow trot. Remember, half halt. Supple, supple, supple. Supple, supple, supple. Praise her. Very nice. How did that feel? Bigger walk right away. Good, good. Give her a little bit of a stretchy walk. Bigger walk, more activity, a lot more activity. That's right, pull up, scratching time. Scratch those 
So this is the first time we've asked her to stay this connected in our warm-up trot. What are you feeling as we do this? She, you feel that she she's she cooperates trying. more? She's trying? Yeah, she's trying. I mean, sometimes it's real ugly right in the beginning like it was from walk to trot. Well, it should be because we've never done this before, right? In the warm-up? All right, let her have a walk break. Just take a walk break. <laughs>